Hey what's up guys welcome back to Mr 3D. So in this video I'm going to talk about the new Cell Fluids 1.5 update. It comes with a lot of features and improvements. If you don't already have the add-on you can grab it from the link in the description below and you can also read more about it there. So without any further ado let's get straight into the video. I'm not going to go through how to use Cell Fluids for that I have a complete tutorial which I have also linked in the notes down below. Now, first up, this update includes enhanced visuals, better simulation algorithm, and high quality water textures. You can now add small water splashes too. Also you can control the amount of splashes you want from here, along with form controls. Like you can increase or decrease the probability of form formation and the form dissolve speed. And finally you can add animated grounds, which is the same as ground but animated. Keep in mind that this feature is highly limited. It may cause simulation glitches when moved horizontally or too fast. Use it to generate waves, block fluid or dynamically add or remove walls. Also avoid too complex geometry as it affects the performance. Alright, so that is all guys. I hope you create something amazing with it. And if you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you create with it. If you want to make physically accurate realistic fluid simulations, then you should look at flip fluids. They have been developing this for over 8 years, they have a lot of tutorials on it to get you started and you can also check out what others are creating with flip fluids by clicking right here to better understand what it can do. And if you are looking for something that can make you large oceans, then open waters add-on would be of great help. You can also find the links of these in the description down below. I will be making videos on both of these add-ons in the future. Make sure to subscribe so that you never miss out on those. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one.